Living in luxury, especially in Hollywood, is expensive. Because of this, it ain't the olden days anymore and celebrities have migrated all over the globe. In this series, we're gonna investigate their nicest properties in some of the biggest cities, states and countries. Today, we're turning our eye towards the city that never sleeps, New York City, which, like LA, is damn expensive to live in. New York City is located in the state of New York in the northeastern United States and the majority of it is surrounded on all sides by water, whether it's the Atlantic Ocean or a series of bays, which puts a large portion of the city at big risk if we project away into the future. But hey, let's not worry about all that now. Instead, let's celebrate some of the highlights of the city, including the rich history, diverse cultures, and the fact that it's widely regarded as the mecca of opportunity. Whatever career you're looking to make a name for yourself in, as Frank Sinatra once famously said, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And then there are the landmarks. I mean, is there any city in the modern world with more? The Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, Central Park, the Brooklyn Bridge. I could go on and on, believe me. How's it going guys? It's Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you with a brand new top 10 on famous entertainment. Today we're taking a look at 10 celebrity homes in the city of New York. From Wall Street executives to rappers to some of the most recognizable phases in the world, everyone apparently loves to brag that they've lived at least some part of their life in the Big Apple. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this list. This is your plane. <laughs> well, well, so we travel a lot. I love cars and I love planes. Let's kick things off with a fan favorite, Lewis Hamilton. As Lewis just expressed in that clip, he might travel a lot and sure does so in style, but when he's not busy tearing up the F1 tracks all around the world, he takes some time off to fly into New York City and kick up his feet in this $50 million penthouse. This 8,900 square foot unit located at Greenwich in Tribeca is the very same building as other notable stars like Meg Ryan, Jake Gyllenhaal, and even The Weeknd. In fact, Tribeca has ranked as the highest priced neighborhood in Manhattan for the past several years. As a former factory, this building boasts an industrial feel with wooden beams and support brackets clearly visible in Lewis's double height living Room. The condo has an ample amount of light let in through the abundance of windows, and there's even a private terrace with its very own plunge pool. Over the past year, Lewis has been looking to move off the property, listing it for $52 million, and reports suggest that he's made the move elsewhere in the city, specifically Vestry Street, where he purchased yet another $40 million condo with 6,547 square feet of space. You're going to see Hamilton soon, right? When are you off to see it? Yeah, this weekend. I'm this seeing weekend. it for the 27th time. 27th time. time. That's a... Uh, 27 Cheap. times. That's correct, Seth. And uh, have, have you felt any dips in your 27 times, or have you had the same reaction pretty much consistently through it? Well, I cry every time. Only a true New Yorker through and through would see Hamilton on Broadway over 20 times. Actually, make that a rich true New Yorker. And that's exactly who Rosie O'Donnell is. Rosie was born in Long Island, New York, and she's lived in multiple homes throughout the city over the years. Most recently, Rosie dropped $8 million on a triplex penthouse at Midtown East's 255 East 49th Street. This uber modern looking home is a sprawling 3,500 and 63 square feet, and has a host of swanky add-ons like a black granite fireplace in its massive living room, a huge glass wall television in the master bathroom, and it even has a sculptural inspired staircase that looks like it belongs in a museum. A rooftop terrace also offers killer views of the Empire State and Chrysler buildings. What more could you want out of a home located in the heart of the city? Yeah, New York! I'm walking over here! That was all I thought New York was before I came here. I just thought it was a city of people almost getting run over. After arriving in New York City from South Africa, few people have found themselves to be as widely embraced as the Daily Show host, Trevor Noah. When he first arrived in town, Trevor was renting a place for himself at Stella Tower for 15K a month. 
The Ralph Walker Design Skyscraper is conveniently close to where Trevor films his TV series daily, making it as easy commute for this busy star. And after a little bit of time, he found a home all on his own. This 3,600 square foot penthouse is actually located just upstairs from his old place in the exact same Stella Tower. And Trevor had to put down $10 million for it in 2017. His new condo spans the 17th and 18th floor of the building. There are three bedrooms, 14 foot ceilings, and views of NY. Which Noah can enjoy from his terrace that wraps around the entire home. The shoe designer and businessman started his brand in 1990 with just $1,100. It looks cheap. We're going to get away with it. Today, he's the force behind a multi billion dollar brand. New York City isn't just full of actors and athletes, it's also home to some of the biggest entrepreneurs of all time. So, next up is Steve Madden, the founder of the world famous shoe brand. Steve dropped $12.2 million on a spectacular five bedroom home at the 65 story building known as Billionaire's Row. Located on the 61st floor, the condo has breathtaking views from whichever direction you happen to be facing, and the West End offers sight lines of Central Park and the East River. It also boasts a 75 foot pool, a spa, and its own fitness center. We used to fly, we used to fly Trump Air to get to, <laughs> to, get to New York. <laughs> so you have to th thank Donald Trump for your career. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah, yes. for well, I could also thank Greyhound because we took the bus sometimes <laughs> too. But. Matt Damon has been one of Hollywood's biggest stars for almost two decades now, and he's beginning to live like it. Matt recently closed on a $16.6 .6 million condo located in a building known as the Standish, formerly the Standish Arms Hotel. One of the biggest residential sales ever in Brooklyn history. History, Matt paid $16 million for this pad, which features a mix of contemporary and classic design elements. It was reported that Matt had to shut down the entire street to move into his unit, with a crane lifting his belongings up to the 14th floor, where he has an extensive amount of outdoor space. Other amenities include 24 hour concierge service, a fitness studio, and a landscaped rooftop terrace with views of the New York Harbor. As a writer, one thing I realized many years ago is every day is an opportunity to write a song. There's, there's life going on around you at all times. Halfway through our list and our next New York City resident is rock star Bon Jovi. So many of the most successful musicians in the world live here, including John Bon Jovi, who scored a four bedroom apartment in the building known as the Greenwich Lane for nearly $19 million. Bon Jovi's elevator opens into a gallery with 40 foot long living room and the chef's kitchen features custom walnut paneled cabinets and top the line appliances. Meanwhile, the master suite has floor to ceiling windows with a massive walk-in closet, a tub made of marble, and heated floors. Gigi, your schedule is pretty easy. After your shoot, meet us at JFK for Paris, London, Berlin, Rome, Saint Tropez, the island nation of Nauru, Antarctica, and Des Moines, Iowa. See you at the airport. There you have it. Supermodel Gigi Hadid has such a busy schedule that she probably doesn't have nearly as much time off as she'd like to enjoy the gorgeous $6 million NoHo apartment, which she spent a year both designing and decorating. But she's still number four on our list. According to reports, Gigi actually owns two units in the NoHo building, and her plans are to combine the two of them together in the near future. She bought her first apartment in 2015 for just under $4 million, and it features two bedrooms, two and a half baths, as well as its very own chef's kitchen. She picked up the second unit three years later and spent just under $6 million on this townhouse inspired three bedroom home. The new one includes a landscape private terrace with its very own fire pit, barbecue grill, and outdoor refrigerator. What is my <laughs> At number three, we have one famous couple I'm sure you all love, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. The pair is still married and they own an absolutely massive complex on Greenwich Street that's reported to be worth as much as $20 million. Back in 2017, the couple put down roots in this 5,375 square foot home, which offers up plenty of space for their young son, Silas. Greenwich is often referred to as a paparazzi proof building, and if the rumors about these two are true, then they better hope that proves to be the case. In the meantime, they can take advantage of a private interior courtyard, an underground garage, a 71 foot indoor pool, and a fitness center with its very own Turkish steam bath. You might say this is Taylor Swift's happy place at the piano. 
There have been so many songs I've written at this piano. Nearing the end of our list, and next up is Taylor Swift. She's no stranger to real estate or a controversy, and sometimes for her, those two worlds collide. Rumor is she had Sir Ian McKellen booted from the penthouse loft at the celeb studded 155 Franklin Street building, where she had purchased a unit for $19 million. I don't have any footage of this event, but in my mind's eye, it looked a little something like this. Orlando Bloom also claims to have been driven out from that same building within months of Taylor moving in due to the abundance of Swift fans that have taken to camping out, waiting for a sight of her. More recently, Taylor has purchased the townhouse right next door at 153 Franklin Street, this time dropping $18 million on a three-story, 27-foot wide townhouse, which has its own gym and spa, and features French oak floors with a planted terrace and Japanese paper glass wall. One thing for sure her home is as unique as the music she makes. Finally, at number one, we have another pop star, and if you're like me, one of your faves, Ariana Grande. While she spent most of quarantine at her new mansion in LA, she continues to own a lavish penthouse in New York City. Because if she wants it, well, you know the rest. Ariana purchased this sprawling condo in the Chelsea neighborhood while she was still engaged to Pete Davidson, and it reportedly cost her $16 million. The apartment complex was designed by the world-famous Zaha Hadid, and the building is super minimalistic with sweeping white walls and a glass exterior. Ariana's unit spans over 4,000 square feet with five beds, four and a half baths, and plenty of open space. The building also has a 75-foot indoor pool, a private IMAX theater, and an amazing rooftop terrace. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up our list of the top 10 celebrities that live in New York City. What did you think? Were there any celebrity homes that I missed out on? Let me know in the comments down below because with so many celebrities in the Big Apple, I think part two will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching, be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!